Welcome to the Kareem Report, a.k.a. Mr. 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. I want to give my uh, take on the Patrick Beverly, Chris Paul situation, everything like that. Um, I ain't really talked too much about it because it was just, I, I like Pat Bev. It's just funny and, and also, but um, the thing is what Pat Bev had to really um, be careful of it's like, where he went wrong, let me tell you what Pat Bev went wrong. He went wrong by defending James Harden. He should have said, no comment. I'm not speaking on um, another man contract. Because now it comes off that you're looking um, better towards Chris Paul because Chris Paul is a much better uh, player, it's definitely in playoffs, than James Harden. He gives it more, he, he go hard more than um, James Harden. And you say after James Harden took two shots, you say he deserved it, but then you was critical of Chris Paul. But like I said, I don't have a problem with him being critical of Chris Paul. Um, that's his opinion. He played against him. Um, he feel how he feel. But the thing that makes it look bad when you defend James Harden, see, that's the problem when you're saying defense. Um, Chris Paul plays much better defense than James Harden. He gives it at all. He do much better job, period. Leadership, everything, toughness than James Harden. And, and, and you figure Pat Bev is a is a guy that lives off toughness and grit. That's the thing that hurts him. You know what I mean? I'm rooting for Pat Bev. I like Pat Bev. Um, you know, um, it was just it was crazy. Like uh, you know, he feel how he feel. You know, me personally, I I don't see Chris Paul as a cone on defense, but like, far as how you feel about Chris Paul get away with things, I agree with him on some a lot of stuff. Now, Chris Paul do get away with a lot of stuff, you know, and that Pat Bev and other players might not get away with. I agree with him, but the whole, my only take is with the James Harden situation. He should not have defended James Harden. I understand it's your friend and things like that. You should just say, I'm not going to speak on another man contract. That would have been good, but defending him saying he worth super max now it kills your basketball credibility. And then it looks like you one sided. Now, now you give people the uh, reason to say, "Oh, you saying that because you're cool with James Harden, but you don't like you saying this because you don't like Chris Paul." Now everything you said that about Chris Paul that that I do believe some of it is credible, it it, it wash away. That thing just wash away right there. I just think that. He just killed his own self by defending James Harden. Everything he said Chris Paul would have been cool, but the minute he said something about defending James Harden, talking his numbers and the things he worth and, and he's like that and different things like that, knowing this man don't step up at all in the playoffs, he killed himself now and looked like he side one guy because he's cool and, and disrespect another guy because he don't like him. So that's the only problem with that. And I just want to say a quick thing about Jimmy Butler, man. Jimmy Butler's a beast, man. This guy play hard. See that that's the thing. Every year they put they've been putting Harden over Jimmy Butler every year as the best player in the NBA. And James and they put Ben Simmons over um Jimmy Butler. They've been putting James Harden over Jimmy Butler. But Jimmy Butler, they now I hope they start adding playoffs performance when they do their rankings. I they that's what they need to do. I really do think they should add what guys do in the playoffs. They should they should uh, evaluate that too. Um especially if a guy it's one thing I have one bad playoff series and they lose first round. But if a guy got history in, in the playoffs, he's so so or mediocre, that should count. I think that James Hart definitely shouldn't even be Top 25 players this year in the NBA. And they need to definitely push Jimmy Butler up. Because you they always put um, Paul George over Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler had good numbers in the regular season, 20 points. But the players, he had another player. Another player. And that's what you want. Big-time players step up in big-time situations. So they, they definitely need to do a better job in that. I'm not just saying it because what he did uh, last night. This period, his playoff history, his history, you know what I mean? And I think they need to start doing a better job in that than what they've been doing. So I need you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.